there are two portals back here. Those portals have stitches. So those are incisions and we have to take very good care of them. Uh, when they come off, we don't want to be in a swimming pool or a lake or any water that's submerged. You can shower and let shower water run over until we have to dry it. Okay. And when the wrap comes off, I'm thinking about at least fitting you with a soft cushion pad or something like that so you've got something on there. Cool. We're only allowing range of motion and Jeremiah needs to supervise this program perfectly. Okay. Uh, we don't want to sweat, do weightlifting or do, you know, anything where we're compromising the incision this first week. Because if the incision doesn't heal, it gets redness or an infection and we might have a problem that would delay us and we might not be ready. Good. So Jeremiah is going to set the pace and the work that you do, we want that to be with Jeremiah or at the stadium or you know, in that environment. And part of your job is to rest your elbow this first week too. So you're helping the team by doing range of motion, but we're not doing resistive work, triceps, bands, we're not trying to do extra work. We're just trying to do the work to get us started. Okay. Okay, there's going to be lots of wiggle room later when we're down in spring training okay. where we can push the accelerator. Okay. So we've already kind of thought about that or built that in. So you don't want me doing anything besides the stuff that I'm doing with Jeremiah at the field? And yeah. I will, and, and yeah. basically when I'm at home, I can do this with my arm, but that's yes. it. Yes. I can just move I can just move it into, in full range. We're going to bend up. And we're going to go out. And that's going to be kind of a stretch. Things are going to feel a little stiff today when we take the bandage off. So we're going to go out straight and up to reacquire the range of motion. Now you'll be allowed to for rotate your form, and we can work on your shoulder. And we'll do some other things other than just the elbow. But at home, this week, it's range of motion. Of the elbow. this? Can oh. I squeeze anything with my hands or no? Yes, you can. You could do a squeeze ball. Alex, I'll walk you through exactly what that is, because yeah. it'll be the same thing we're going to do at the stadium, but I'll walk you through exactly what that is and how much to do. Okay. okay. And Jeremiah may give you some homework. He may allow for you to do some of that at home. But what we want to do is have a very regimented initial start to the program. Okay. It's not just like off-season working out. Okay. Yeah, 100%. We're going to have, we're gonna have every program. second of this, like, Every, anything I do is going to go through him. Okay. Well, I trust him implicitly. We have such a great resource of Jeremiah. We're going to have to help us with that. Cool. Um, let's do the reveal for taking the bandage off. Okay. I want to see this. <laughs> well, you're going to be a statue. I'll just stay still. Stay still. Okay. And I'll start listening to the rap. A strap, and we sometimes use for ice bags and things like that. So we just take our time loosening up the A strap. I'm going to take that wrap off. Did you find a strategy to take a shower with this wrap on? No, I know I have a shower. Okay. Well, maybe that's what we should do after the wrap comes off. Shower? Yes. 100%. You shower. think I should shower? Yes. It smells like an onion. Smell like an onion? Yeah. Oh, I don't think it's quite that. Very good. Oh. <laughs> So this, uh, this surgery bandage has a hard part on the back here, Alex. So this is what you're wearing on the back. All right. Now I want to open up this gauze. Okay. okay. Are you doing okay? Doing great. Continue to be a statue though, and I will do the work. all sterile gauze and cotton. We put that on after surgery to protect the wound, control swelling. 
you can put one hand over here to help balance that so it doesn't drop off. Because gravity is still on here in this room. Okay. Now, this is where you wrote on your arm before surgery. I remember. Because you wanted to identify that arm. This may stick just a little bit. Okay, and I'm gonna clean that up a little bit for you too, Alex, okay? It's gonna be just a little bit of dry blood. There's gonna be some purple color back here because when we do surgery, we draw out some landmarks. All right. Can I look? You may. There's a mirror over there. Can you see that? Take right elbow. Doc, you walking us through all these steps? Is making this a lot easier for me, just letting you know. Thank well, you. that's what we want to do. <laughs> Thank you. And if I was um, on the field, you'd have to walk me through everything too. <laughs> Absolutely. So the purple color, and I want you to be frightened or concerned about that. That's what it wrote on your arm. And when you look more closely in the mirror, there'll be two spots back here. Each spot has two stitches. Two stitches in each spot. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we're going to take those out hopefully within like in about 10, a week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seven so days. I want to clean this up with some hydrogen peroxide and just get everything ready for you to wear a soft pad on there. Okay. All right. So awesome. I'm going to sneak through here. <laughs> yeah. it's all this. They are the kind we have to take out. I look tiny. That's the consequence of the wrap. The wrap sort of does that. Am I allowed to straighten my arm? You can, but it won't probably go all the way yet. That's what we're going to work on this week. How's it feel? I don't really feel anything. We're trying to do that gently. Now, sometimes we'll do Neosporin and a Band-Aid there, but the Band-Aid will sort of roll up when we put the pad on. So what I want to do is just work with Alex for just a little bit. And then Jeremiah will work with you too, where we're gonna to start to do gentle range of motion. So when you come out of bandage, it's real tight and stiff initially. So when you move it, we do it slowly and methodically. So you come out like you were just doing, get to the end, kind of stretch it there, give it a little stretch and hold. And we're coming up here, same thing's gonna be on this end. It's gonna to go to a certain port, point, where you get a little uncomfortable. You just kind of hold it there a little bit and you work it the other way. Working is very slow and smooth, like the second hand out clock, rather than fast or quick. You can use this hand to help yourself, to guide it, to go out, or to start coming up. In a day or so, this will get easier, but the first steps right now are more difficult. We're taking baby steps now, then we're gonna kind of toddle, walk, before we run. Yes, you are. We like giving it to you to be able to guide it because you can sense where you're supposed to be. And Jeremiah helps you. It's a lot easier go. straightening right now. Where do you feel it at when you straighten? Where does it feel sore? In the back. Okay. What about when you bring it up, you bend it? The same spot? Right here? The flexion will come more easily, and that just happens. The straightening out part. You feel it on the back, right there. Yeah. That's where most of the work's done. Yeah. So, just it's forward. surgery, and we're just starting the range of motion. And I don't want you to try to set a record to get all the motion in one day. We want to pace this range of motion over a week, seven or eight days to come. Sure. So as we essentially have even a week from tomorrow to get your range of motion back, that will be very easy for you to get back. You've already improved it a ton right here in the span of two minutes. It'll be very easy for you to get back. It's super tight right now, I'll tell you what. Once he gets the tightness, does he try and push past it, or once you feel tightness, think, you stop? I think we just go to that point and, and sort of leave you know, it there for a second, leave it there for a little bit, and back off, approach, retreat, 
approach. Like you're not trying to push through. No, no, like no, I'm just no, no. That's why for him. Alex, that way he's not at home. Like I'm just gonna ride. Like you don't have right to through. help him. Like lean across his arm or anything. Yeah. Basically, Alex is in charge. Of it. Yeah. For the rest of the day today, no more range of motion. We'll do it tomorrow at the stadium. Like we can do a little bit more here, but no more today. Should you just be resting in a sling or, or why? What about the sling now? I can turn my hand this way? Yes. It's super tight. Yeah, that's okay too. That's for being in this point. You'll find it more efficient if you're here when you do this part. When you rotate the forearm. Okay? This is surgery. It won't be very comfortable. And it's, you know, it's... We gotta take baby steps now. Doc, for the next day or two, completely discontinue the, the sling. How do you want to handle that? Well, I want to see how he likes this pad. Okay. We like some strategy where you can rest it so you don't have to move it. So that strategy could be wearing your sling over this pad, or sometimes we make do with a little bit of this and an ace wrap over the top of the elbow pad especially for the first day or so. So this is a soft elbow cushion. It's gonna have some memory foam in the back here. What I'd like to do is help you, you help me, to slide that up over the elbow. How come she don't want to lock that? Okay. My shoulder should just cramp me right now. Okay. okay. So I'm just <laughs> that's why we can holding it up like that. Yeah. yeah. So there's a lot going on right now. And so when we're doing the range of motion, it's just straight down, straight up. You can do the forearm rotation like this. You can move the fingers, do the grip, just like we want you to move the fingers after surgery. I can text and stuff like that. You can do that. It's okay to do gentle stretching on your shoulder to help you serve up the things. Nothing will break. You well, I'm just making sure because everyday life I'm doing that stuff and I want to I want not do it if it's going to army like if i'm playing video games and you say not to i won't do it you know but like yeah. is this this is fine right here it is fine okay. yeah. that stuff will actually will help you as part of your rehab because you're moving your fingers it's exactly what we're going to do as part of your so rehab. if i'm going to be i can bend this right now with this thing on right you can and when i'm going to turn my wrist you want it to be up like this you can turn it both ways you can go palm up all down. I'm just We're there. just trying to reacquire the range of motion. Now, surgery, everything went real well for you. We cleaned out some loose bodies in the back of the elbow. Or two. Was really. kind of, well, one was kind of medium, and there was a couple others that were smaller. And we did uh, cleaning out of some inflamed tissue around those loose bodies and a limited smoothing or limited debridement of some of the bone, where the bone, as it hits over the years, it sort of builds up some thickness back there. So we've, we've tried to clean up the room, so to speak, with the arthroscopy. It's not that we changed the room. We didn't do architecture to move walls or anything, but we cleaned up the room back there. But after getting cleaned up now, it's sore. And and we want to just reacquire, reacquire the range of motion over this week. That's our program. So this week, range of motion. Range of motion. And only, not, not, no more range of motion today. I'm just strictly going home and chilling. Yeah. And tomorrow when I wake up, I'm going to the field, and we're going to do our little work, and I'm going to go home and not do anything again for seven straight days. Yeah. Okay. We, we may do a little bit at home, but I will tell you exactly what it, what it is and how much of it. Okay. Yeah. I think we can let Jeremiah give you an opportunity. Maybe you're going to do, you know, 10, 15 reps, three sets of just ranging or something at home when you're not in the field, that kind of thing. We'll give you some idea of what to do. We want to have feedback on a daily basis. And we want to see how we should pace your recovery. But we don't want to just give you a green light, go hit the gym. We want to do a medical recovery. <laughs> yeah, that's smart. Yeah. yeah. And Thank I'll you, I'll communicate with Dr. Meloff what's going on with you every single day. If you have questions, we can we can call him. He'll know exactly what's going on with you. So let me ask you guys this: I'm sitting at the dinner table tonight, and I'm eating, watching the game. 
can I like just bend my arm a little bit like this? Is yes. that, you said range of motion. Is this considered range of motion? Yes. So I shouldn't do any of that. I should just leave it straight. You can do that, but the idea is you're not working it 24-7. Okay. It's not, he's been leaning on pillows. When like he's at the table, like, like this, should he be putting pressure on the back or not? Well, this or pad will give him a little support back there. If it hurts, don't do it. That's rule number one. Uh, if you're getting too much swell, we back off a little bit. That's rule number two. Jeremiah will sort of, you know, observe this. We'll figure out where we go. Cool. Now, I'm basically going to be in your phone 24 7 texting you, Jeremiah. Okay. Well, the first day or two, well, he's we'll excited. <laughs> <laughs> he's excited. That was just straight, like, off the range. Holding, <laughs> holding the pony the back sling, is going to will be bad. easy to wear just over the top of this. That can be done. And that'll slow you down enough to just give you a chance to start moving this. You're not and like I'll feel a little bit of numbness at the beginning. I'll feel some like some soreness, like I do right now, like a little numb, a little sore. But all of that stuff is very important. That you communicate that to us. Most of it's going to be normal, but you need to tell us just so we know what's like, going I, on. I feel like like tingling a little bit in my fingers and like it's right from taking the ramp off. Yep. I'm from turning my hand, it feels like it's a stretch. Yes. Like everything feels like a stretch. It doesn't hurt. This doesn't hurt right That's here. That's already better. It that, doesn't hurt right there. That stretch right there though, Alex, that's where the money is when you stretch out. Everything else just comes in its own. This so right here is super tight in the back of my neck. No, that's just, that's just from being in the spring. I'm just on the top side of it, mm -hmm. on this side of it. That's so the thing we'll have to work on the most, but without hurting you, is straightening. Flexion would come. If I just had you walk out the door and I saw you a week later, the flexion will be there, the forearm rotation will be there, just from you eating at the dinner table changing your clothes, taking a shower. This part will probably be worked out a little bit more because this has always been limited some since college. Mm -hmm. and so we're not trying to change the room, we're just cleaned it up okay. to get you ready for this season. Awesome. We'll be ready. We'll be left, uh, left handed shakers, right handed fist bumpers. No, no contact with any, with any humans. Correct. We, like, yeah, they want to shake my hand on this one to keep yeah. this on a pillow. Okay, so yeah, here's a, another strategy, just some give you another thought, thought for sleeping mm -hmm. or otherwise. See, this can go on over the elbow pad and an A strap can hold that in place. For and sleeping? For sleeping. Do you think that would help? I'm going to send you home with it. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. That? And if you, if you hold one hand right there for just a second, so we can make use of our A strap. I know it's not the easiest thing for you to put on by yourself, but this is a strategy for sleeping for a couple nights where we can take the burden of moving the elbow away from Alex for at nighttime. So I don't roll sleeps. over on or anything? Yeah, or when you just don't want to worry about your elbow anymore, that's a strategy up. right there, and that can be used alternatively, or you could even do both. Okay. Now, send you home with that ace and this ace too. So let me ask you this. Now I'm getting a massage tonight on my legs or whatever. I can lay, I can lay like face down and keep my, put my arms down to my side, correct? Yes. And just tell her don't touch my arm. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Just sure. You can be prone. You can have any of that massage work done on the legs. You could do any of the stretching on the legs. Just nothing upper body. Yeah, we're just not trying to work out at the gym. No weights, no resistance on the arm, no triceps. We're not doing swim <coughs> pool or hot tub. Okay. It's not that fragile, but to us, you're a very important cargo or asset. And we have to take care of you like the crown jewels of Mm -hmm. or something you know the idea is we we don't want to get off the page just with uh, something happening to you thank you so it's it's uh it's not fragile it can move around 
but do it within your comfort zone. We're relying on you and your inner voice to tell you what to do. This I'm going to be you. so careful with this. <laughs> Doc, one more yeah. question. I think he's probably going to go take a shower here as soon as they leave here. Okay. Um, after he gets done with the shower, um, go back to just the blue pad? You can. You can. Okay. And I didn't see what you put on. Did you put on something to cover his incisions? He does not right now. Okay. You could do, if he's out the field and he wants to have a break, you could put some Neosporin and Band-Aid on there. The pad okay. is loose enough that they could come over the Band-Aid without okay. lifting it up. Okay. So that gives you a little protection. Having it open to the air at the house especially is good because it heals better if it has some air. So it takes off the blue pad at the house? Uh, you I'm certainly can. Right. You certainly can. Uh, I know it might seem like, well, does that seem right? But that's okay. I just don't want people knock into you. Like, if it's going to be out in the ground. No, I'm, yeah. I'm going to have a 10 foot bubble. Yeah. You're not allowed in here. Okay. You, we can, we can, you can come in here. We have at least the pad, possibly the sling, maybe the hard brace and the sling and the pad. When we're out of the house. When you're out of the house. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Rock this just like this. Oh, sure. You might even do that going out to dinner tonight, we were talking about. Yeah. And watching the game, and then that hole, you're. That saving, this is mostly for nighttime over the next few days. Okay. And when, they, when you get comfortable enough to sleep without it, then we don't need it anymore. Doc, thank you. Any other questions while we got Doc here? Thank you so much. Appreciate it. So we'll you'll see him back roughly a week. Sure. I'll send you daily updates just like yeah. I have been. You got my number. Awesome. If you are. Yeah, we want nobody in trouble here. Yeah, if you're all concerned all about things. anything, any questions, just like you have been. Call or text me. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna call. I'm. I mean, I'm already <laughs> sending Jeremiah's call, call bill through the roof. Uh, and call him so much, but that's what we're here for, man. It makes us feel better when we're in contact. Thanks, yeah. I'm trying. I, I'm just. So basically, I'm just gonna not. I'm just gonna chill. You got another week. One pitch and, then, and then tomorrow morning, we're gonna start doing some range of we motion are. stuff. Yeah. We'll hide all the balls and bats. <laughs> yeah. I'll be doing this. <laughs> That's it. Put all the balls in the vault. Right. That's easy. In the vault. Mom, can Talk you uh, throw this in here? You're not going to nope. wear it? Uh, do we still have a Could few pain pills, plan. Alex? Or how is your no pain, pain pills. management? I have no pain pills. Are you out of them or not using them anymore? I'm out of them. And he's not any. He yeah. hasn't been using them. He's out of them. He's got two of the antibiotic left. When you wear so your little, sling. This is a little, 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 hold yeah. on one second. When you wear your sling. Think about putting the elbow all the way in the back of the pocket. Okay. It will carry better, Alex. And then you can put this together where you want it. But that can drop down lower at your shoulder. We'll be happier for that. Okay. So the elbow sits way in the back of the pocket. And this just kind of carries the load for you there. Okay, thank you. So you're very safe, very protected like that. People will not want to reach out and shake your hand. Thank you. I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any pain pills now. I think. I don't think Why my don't mom or dad with, want me to uh, take any more. Plain Tylenol. Or do you Jeremiah need any? Do you? Yeah. Keep us up. Uh, keep Just us, take Tylenol if he's more. got any. Yeah, if it gets like a little tylenol, bit sore, Tylenol is a good way to go. Tylenol. It's not that we don't we'll want get a better read, read on like how the just elbow is progressing. Or just basic. We're not on a narcotic pain. Two hundred. Well, I just won't take any. I won't take Tylenol either. It's okay to have an occasional one. Do you think I'm going to need it? It's just, not. it's just burning a little bit in the back, right where the stitches well, are. Especially today, we just took the ramp off and put you through uh, our workout yeah. here. Yeah, that was a workout. <laughs> I mean, it was a workout. That was your first workout. Compared to where you were, but then you're it was a, it's a great start, Alex. We started good. Yeah, we're on the we're on a good we're in a good spot. We it's up to you not to try and jump. Because as you feel better, you're going to try and push. I know you. I know, and yeah. I won't. I'm not. I'm not going to. Following Jeremiah's, I'm following just telling Jeremiah, Jeremiah and going, hey, he's pushing. Like, yeah, this is the hard punishment. Time. The time that we every push is at week five or week six. Athlete That's when you go. Always Patience. feels like they they are on a different track, but we have to take care of you like we would all of our other patients now for the to get it started until the incision's healed. Sounds good. Just one pitch at a time. Yep. All right. Don't 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 thank you very much thank you for coming today. It's a pleasure to meet you. And I'll take that one extra. Yes, please do. Yes. Yeah.
So probably another first check will be good. For a little while. We're off to a good start. We're going to take it slow, but do all the necessary we have. so that way he, like, doesn't end up...